PowerPoint 2007 provides professionally designed animation effects that you can apply to various elements in your presentations. Animating your slides helps you reinforce certain information and ensure that your audience pays attention to the presentation. When you animate the slide title, a box that contains one appears to the left of the title. The number indicates that this is the first element that is animated on the slide. An animation icon also appears below the slide number on the slides tab, which indicates that one or more elements are animated on this particular slide. You can make adjustments to the animation by using the options that are provided in the custom animation task pane. When you apply an animation effect to a bulleted list, PowerPoint 2007 demonstrates the effect. A number appears in a box adjacent to each bullet point, indicating the order in which the respective bulleted elements appear when the slide is billed. Observe that the second level bullets appear at the same time as the first level bullets. Numbers appear in the custom animation task pane next to icons indicating the animation trigger, the effect, and the affected text. You can also apply an animation effect to a picture on a slide. You can view the full description of an animation by pointing to an element in the custom animation task pane. In PowerPoint 2007, you can use various additional effects for the entrance, emphasis, and exit animations. Observe that 6 and 7 appear to the left of the picture on the slide when you apply another animation effect to the picture. These numbers indicate that animation effect 6 and 7 that appear in the custom animation task pane are applied to the picture. In the custom animation task pane, only the upward pointing arrow to the left of the reorder button is active because the selected effect is the last animation in the list. After reordering the animation effects, the seventh animation changes to the second animation in the list. The original animation of the picture now appears at position 7. The numbers that are adjacent to the bullet points indicate that the related animations will now occur after the animations of the picture. All the bullet points have the same animation effect. Therefore, in the custom animation task pane, only the first bullet point is visible, and the other bullet points are hidden. To change the animation effect that is applied to the hidden bullets, use the Expand Contents bar. When you click Effect Options for the bulleted list, the checkerboard dialog box appears because the checkerboard effect is applied to the bulleted list. Observe that the second level bullets under the text What's in a Name have consecutive numbers on the slide and in the custom animation task pane. The numbering indicates that the bullets will appear one after the other. Animations can be tiresome if you use too many effects in a single presentation. Apply only one effect or a set of effects to each type of element on a slide. After you apply an animation effect, you can modify the animation to improve the effect. In PowerPoint 2007, you can add sound effects to animations.
For text elements, you can specify how and when the text should appear. When you click OK, PowerPoint 2007 automatically demonstrates all the changes made to the animation. Observe that the color that you selected from the After Animation list is applied to the slide title when the animation ends. In the Custom Animation Task Pane, the mouse icon that is next to each animation indicates that the animation starts on a click of the mouse. In the slideshow, each element is displayed after you click the mouse.